Charlestown Middle School one-to-one -one computer initiative learning without boundaries welcome we are excited to begin this new era in education we are glad that you are here in support of your child's education this initiative would not have been possible without the vision of our mayor Bob Hall the CMS one-to-one -one goals to integrate student computer use into the curriculum in order to one improve the quality of student learning two improve student learning of content three institute differentiated instruction four improve student ability to become lifelong learners five prepare students for the world of work and six improve the homeschool connection responsibility students are responsible for all computer activity at school and at home computers are monitored at school by the tech staff using specialized software this software only allows monitoring at school and not at home however all internet websites are logged by the web filter for review by the tech staff parents must monitor computer activity at home failure to follow the acceptable use policy will result in discipline refer to the laptop discipline consequences for details you received a copy of these today examples of inappropriate use watching movies at school listening to music without approval viewing inappropriate material intentionally shutting down another student's computer gang or other images deemed inappropriate leaving the laptop at home not charging the laptop daily and non-computer items in the laptop bag general precautions no food or drink is allowed near the laptop a spill will cause a non-warranty repair resulting in having to pay the $100 insurance deductible be careful when inserting and removing cords and USB devices breaking off one of these devices in the laptop will result in a non-warranty repair an insurance claim will need to be filed never carry the laptop with the screen open use the lunch tray method do not carry your MacBook like this instead carry it like these students shut down laptops when not using to conserve battery life laptops should remain free of writing stickers or labels never leave your laptop unattended know where your laptop is located at all times never leave your laptop in a car bus locker room or any unsupervised area do not take apart the laptop or attempt repairs you are responsible for all damage to the laptop and replacement costs of all lost parts while the insurance coverage and your hundred dollar deductible will cover damage it will not cover the lost parts such as the charger if the laptop is subjected to extreme heat or cold please allow the laptop to return to room temperature before turning it on screen and surface care laptop screens can be damaged if subjected to rough treatment do not lean or put pressure on the laptop when it is closed do not place anything on the laptop that could put pressure on the screen clean the screen with a soft dry cloth 
come to the help desk for assistance in cleaning your laptop. Opening and closing the MacBook. Do not place anything on the keyboard before closing the lid. Do not open the lid too far. The ports. The first port on the MacBook is the MagSafe port. This is used for charging. It is a magnetic port. The next is the Gigabit Ethernet port. This is for wired internet. The Mini DVI. This is for connecting the laptop to projectors in the teacher's classrooms. The FireWire 400. This is for connecting external hard drives. There are two USB 2.0 ports. This would be for flash drives and other USB items. The audio in is used to connect an external microphone. The audio out is for headphones. All students are required to purchase and carry their own headphones with them. The security port would be for locking the laptop to a table or other secure item. The battery. Students are required to charge the battery each night. Charging the battery for three hours will give approximately five hours of laptop use. By pressing the button on the bottom of the battery, an LED light indicator will show how much charge is remaining. The power button. The power button is located in the upper right hand corner of the keyboard. It is used to turn on the laptop. It can also be used to turn off the laptop if it will not shut down using normal methods. The EyeSight Camera Sight Camera is located above the screen. It is used to take still and video pictures. Inserting and ejecting a CD or DVD Insert a DVD Push the DVD in about 90% and the laptop will take it in. An icon will appear on the desktop indicating it has been inserted. To eject, drag that icon to the trash or use the eject button directly above the delete key on the keyboard. Do not insert many DVDs such as those from a video camera. Those will get stuck in the MacBook and the MacBook will have to be sent to Apple for removal. The Network When logging into the network at school, wait for the green light. If you log in before getting the green light, you may not have access to all of your files or the internet. The light will be red at home. It is only green while you are at school. Try to log in and out at least once per day at school for updates. Only files in the documents folder are backed up on the server. All other files are local to your computer only. Do not place music or movies in the documents folder due to limited space. This will cause slow logins and may be deleted by the tech staff. Backup music and other items not in the documents folder to a USB flash drive. In the event your computer has to be repaired, you may lose these files. Laptop bags. A special thanks to the Charlestown Kiwanis Club for securing donations for laptop bags. The laptop bag sponsors include Anytime Fitness, First Savings Bank, River Valley Financial, James Adams of Edward Jones, McDonald's, the family of Agnes Fisher, St. Catherine Regional Hospital, New Washington State Bank, State Farm Insurance Agent Dale Robinson, and other Charlestown business sponsors.
Since these bags have to be used for many years, do not write, color, or draw on the bag. Any damage to the bag will result in a bag replacement fee. Do not place anything in the bag except for computer items. Do not put any paper, folders, pens, pencils, or books in the bag. This can cause damage to the bag or the laptop. There are many sources for getting help for your laptop. The school help desk is located in the library cage and it is open from 8.15 to 2.40 daily. Repairs can be taken to the help desk with permission of the teacher. Also, the teacher or a tech mate can help you in the classroom. A tech mate is a student computer helper. Any warranty items that need repaired will be sent to Apple by the help desk. Non-warranty repairs will also be sent to Apple, but student may be responsible for the $100 deductible. Intentional damage will result in the full $1,000 computer replacement. You can visit these websites for additional help on your own. The CMS one-to-one -one website and the Apple website. Links to both of these websites can be found on the CMS website. Thank you for coming in support of this community's efforts to provide the best education. Please let us know how we can make this experience better. Enjoy your MacBook.